Hey guys, before we start the video, just want to let you know, as always, you're a valuable person, your input is valuable, you matter to somebody, and that you're important, and that you're cared about. And as always, if you feel like no one is there, I'm there, I care about you. Now with that uh, said, let's get on to the video. So this one, this one is going to be a little different. This one is going to be a just barely 4K. I'm going to be talking you through the whole process, just like I normally do, as you might have read in the title. So we're going to wait on to the drop here. I just want to, the, the point of this video really is to just take you through my thought process and hopefully you guys can take something away from that, something useful, something you can apply in your own games and in your own 4Ks. Hopefully it enables you to get a 4K. That is my ultimate goal with these videos is to help you guys get better and to help you guys even get on par with me as I've been telling people. Like you, you can be just as good as me as long as you practice as, as much as me or maybe even less. So here we are, this is one of my favorite drops, this is where I always drop. My drops are super repetitive and predictable, so yeah, if you, the, a lot of people land on me because of that, because they know exactly where I'm going to drop. It actually comes kind of, becomes kind of annoying. Right here, I, I don't exactly know what was going on with that Mirage, I don't quite remember. I, oh yeah, see, he took all the ammo and I wanted him to drop me more ammo because I needed ammo. Got the double alternator set up, so I'm going to be playing probably close and mid-range, make sure I strafe a lot. My my teammates, which are great, like the whole game they supported me until the very end, but we'll find out about that later. But they're just great. They ping stuff for me, they follow me and everything. So I'm going to see these guys over here and this guy over here. I'm going to see if I can get a pick onto somebody. Make sure I get it full health here. I mean, I have the I have the shield advantage, so I want to be at full health right here. This guy's going to run away, so we're going to try to chase him, see if we can get him, because he's isolated, he's alone. Right here, it's going to be an easy kill. We want to make sure we down him and thirst him, then we want to heal up. Right here, we're going to grab some of the basic essentials. I'm going to switch up to the car, just because, uh, you know, light ammo might be kind of hard to come by, so we want to have a weapon that runs a different ammo type as well. It's really... I just like to diversify my ammo types, that's what I call it. That way I can I can always have ammo for my weapons. If there's no light, I have heavy. If there's no heavy, I have light, and so on. These guys are going to be all three of them in here. So we're going to try to push up and see if we can spot one out. We spot this guy out right here. Try to beam him. Doesn't really work out for me too well. I'm going to see if I can push inside, though. See if I can get a, see if I can get a pick on one of them while they're distracted. And I do with this guy right here. This guy's gonna push me. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him like slide past me, as you guys saw. I'm gonna let him slide past me. Then I'm gonna shoot at him. No sense like wasting my bullets trying to hit a difficult target when I know he's gonna land. I know he's not gonna have momentum, and he's just gonna be standing there. It's gonna be much easier to hit him when he's, you know, standing still. His momentum has come to a stop. So it's just easier to hit not a slide jumping target. And that's what I'm gonna do. It's gonna pay off for me. So I expect there's going to be people over here. This is the direction we want to be pushing. We want to see if we can find some more people over here. My teammates are going to follow me. That's one of the keys that you'll notice across all my videos is that when my teammates follow me, we do good. Or at least when you know, I'm hitting enough of my shots to like allow my teammates enough time to actually get to me. You know, I mean, I can play like pretty, pretty alone, pretty solo, but I do need my teammates there every once in a while. This guy, I'm expecting him to be low, so we're just going to run around, chase him. We want to ape him, make sure he doesn't get away. That's another kill for me. At this point, I am just, I'm just gunning for kills. I don't really expect it to be a 3K, so I'm just kind of playing it out and see what happens, seeing how far I can get. Right here, there's going to be a couple people. I'm going to want to try to hit what I can and then back off. That's not a good, that's not a good position, just, especially if they're like all grouped up up there like that, I don't want to take that fight, so we always got the portal, we're going to go around, we're going to go through the portal, we're going to land above them, and we're going to see if we can take the gunfight with us having the high ground as opposed to them having the high ground and the good positioning. Right here, I'm going to land on the ultimate high ground, so I'm as high as can be. Let's see if I can beam this guy right here. I remember that guy landed to the right of me, so notice the way I put that crate. I put that crate, I made sure that crate was to my right, just so I could take this 1v1 with this guy without getting shot by the guy to my right. 
it's important to have that sort of situational awareness and make sure you know where you are and where your teammates are and what your line of sight is like where where people can see you from and where you can see people from this guy i'm just gonna ape him because i feel like if he's running away he's probably got a reason to be running away and i'm getting i'm pretty confident with my shot right now so i know i can chase him and i want to make sure he doesn't get away obviously let's see i was expecting him to come out there but that's okay i got all the health in the world so i can play i can play a little bit more aggressive here i'm finally gonna get that kill at this point i'm getting a little kill hungry so i'm trying to I'm trying to, you know, chase everybody down. I'm trying to get all the kills because I don't have as many kills as I'd want to have. You know, I have four kills with nine squads left. That's not a great, that's not a great kill spread to have. If you guys watched my 4K tutorial video, you'll notice that I don't even have 1,500 damage. I like to have 1,500 damage at least before 10 squads to drop a 4K. I got a little bit less than that. There's two squads less than 10 squads, so... This one is obviously going to be a close one, but you guys know I'm going to get it just based on the title. So we're going to be rotating to where we hear shots, really. I think I hear some shots over here, so I'm going to come this way. I'm going to see if I can catch, just catch whoever I can. I need to do as much damage as possible at this point. Notice, like, how fast I'm moving, too. Like, you, you really... You know, you really have to rotate fast. You really have to move fast. Like, you can't really be stopping. You just gotta move. So I know they're down in here. I got this great positioning right here. I can shoot at anybody I want. Uh, I want to make sure I let them revive. That's why I looked at that body. I looked at that body to try and make sure that wasn't a down guy. If that was a down guy, I was going to let him revive him. Obviously, it wasn't. It was just a body. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to see what I can do about it. I knew this guy was flesh, so I pushed him. I'm going to make sure I get that thirst. Unfortunately, I don't get that thirst because my teammates, uh, well, my teammates took care of it. My teammates took care of the other guy. Unfortunately, I had to pause the video right there. Okay, anyways, we're back. So we're just going to be grabbing some loot. You know, at this point, I'm looting for just pretty much a better light mag. If you don't need to loot, don't loot, and especially don't loot every box, especially in a game like this. If you're going for a 4K, you don't need to loot every box. You just need to grab your essentials and then get out of there. Obviously, I noticed there's people over here. I want to see if I can spot somebody out. This bang airstrike is going to come in, so I want to make sure I'm undercover just in case uh just in case i get slowed down by that i don't want that i'm gonna be running over here because i'm predicting they're up top so i want to get an angle they're not going to be expecting there's two ways up here obviously i'm not going to take the more obvious one i'm going to take this less obvious one and see if i can get a pick this guy drops down right here he's going to for me make sure i get that thirst get that extra damage off of it i hear this guy coming over here so i'm going to try to contest that I'm really going to work out. I want to make sure I heal up. But I did do a, a decent amount of damage there. So it's definitely going to help in my ability and chance to get a 4K. I know he's up there. And I know, I think there's another squad here. So I'm going to pop my ultimate and see what I can do with that. See this guy come over here. Going to be looking for him right here. I know he's on this door, I got full health, I got my Bloodhound ultimate, I can kick that door if I need to. Obviously there's more than one person there, so I want to be a little bit more careful. I noticed this guy dropped down, I need to take care of this guy, because if I want it, if I'm trying to get through here, he's going to shoot me in the back, so I need to make sure I take care of that guy. See this guy drop down, he's just in the corner, not anything big brain about that. I want to try to find mags, that's primarily what I'm going to be looting for, is just mags and ammo. Because I need to have a magazine, an extended magazine, on that car. So I'm going to be looking around. Obviously going to grab ammo. Going to grab some heals as well. I like to run four to six bats and two phoenix kits. That's that's a lot. But I get shot a lot. I push a lot. I'm going to hear this guy up here. So I'm going to see if I can contest him. He's going to see me, but I'm already pre-aimed. Even though I'm running at him, just in the event that that sort of thing happens... I'm already aimed at him just so I can quickly aim down sights and kill him. 
Like, I want to get closer to make the shot easier for me, but I'm already pre-aim, so I've already done most of the work. All this stuff to do is for me to aim down sights. I'm going to see these guys. I'm going to try to figure out what even is going on here. I'm assuming there's two squads. I'm going to just try to take some long-range shots. Notice this guy comes over here and he's correct, so I'm going to push that. This Gibraltar comes out of nowhere. I'm going to see if I can handle that as well. Obviously, I handle that. Again, I'm going to be looting for mags and ammo. Don't really see anything. At this point, I've got a pretty good spread. I got 2,800 damage with three squads left. It's definitely possible. So at this point, I just want to move before the other two squads fight each other. I'm just going to go ring. Now, I do want to grab a little bit more ammo, though. Notice I'm a little bit light on ammo. Let me grab that shield as well because that shield is a little bit more... It's a little closer to red, but it's only got one one cell off full, so I'm just going to heal that cell. It's not really a big deal. But I'm going to be moving again, and I'm going to be moving quickly. Ideally, I want to get to this jump tower and take a look around. I'm going to see if I can spot anybody out, and that's going to help me figure out how to play with these last two squads. My teammates are going to ping, so I'm going to go over there and I'm going to push that. I'm going to play... I'm going to try to play this fight... More so defensively, I'm not gonna play as aggressive, but I if my teammates are gonna play aggressive, obviously I gotta pit I gotta play extremely aggressive. Right here, I'm gonna take an unexpected flank. They're gonna be expecting my teammates from the front. I'm gonna come in from behind. Spot this guy out. I'm gonna push up, see if I can heal him. Get a little bit of his health away. I'm gonna try to heal up when I can, but right now my teammates are all over it. So I wanna make sure I get in here and I do as much damage as possible. Right here, I'm trying to find the guy. There he is behind me. Make sure I thirst him and get the extra, the extra damage off of that. Right now, the ring's coming in. This is a round two ring. One of my teammates are down, so I'm going to I'm gonna just see if I can back off, see if everybody can regroup. That way, I can get more damage out of this squad. I didn't expect my teammate to res there. My teammate's going to try to res there, so I want to go back and support that. You know, I don't want to leave my teammate to die any more than I kind of did. It's, it's tough going for a 4k honestly you have to make some of those difficult decisions and i'm not really going to sugarcoat it you've got to make some difficult decisions when playing for badges but yeah i guess my teammate my teammate is going to want to stick this so i'm going to pop my ultimate it's going to give me a little bit of an advantage in this ring and i want to just kill these guys i'm going to see they ran away so i'm going to try to follow them over here if they hadn't ran away i'd have killed them right there but it's actually better that they've run away but right here, I'm going to try to kill them before my teammates can get to them. Obviously, my teammates are playing a little bit more aggressively. I expect there to be two right here. There's only one. My teammate down the other. So I'm going to be looking for him. You know, I'm going to be scanning the ring line, see where he's at. I scan, find out where he's at. I'm going to try to play this a little bit more carefully, but also kind of aggressive. You know, make sure I have the advantage. Make sure I'm free aiming. I don't want to get down right here. Fortunately, I don't get as much damage out of that squad as I was hoping. I was hoping for at least 900 damage out of that squad. That's all three knockdowns and all three thirsts. I didn't really get that. I got to piece up a couple of them but, and then kill, full kill one without thirsting him. So. Right now, I'm going to ask my teammates if I can get the 4k. I rarely do this. Usually, I just push ahead because it's not really worth... Let me get 4k. Usually, it's not really worth asking sometimes. Sometimes Always I do, sometimes I don't. Obviously, you can see my teammate right there says K. My teammates are going to get exposed here in a second. But, I don't know. Sometimes people don't respect it. I am playing with randoms. This is solo queue. Obviously, the Mirage is not going to expect it, as you're going to see later. Always going to win, sis. He's, uh, he's asking for my at right now. I'm going to give him my YouTube. You guys are already here on the YouTube. You know, I do want to make sure I'm kind of safe. I don't want to just do it out in the open, so I didn't crouch behind that rock. Says, right now, I'm really just SPS. trying to find this last squad. I'm assuming they're over here in ring, so we're just going to be pushing in ring. They just shot at that flyer right there, so I know where they are. And obviously, they looted this, uh, they looted this crate. Now, I'm going to see if I can get an angle on them. What I want to do right here is I want to crack an almost down one and then let him go. I want to farm these guys. I need to get some extra damage off of these guys. 
because I'm not really where I want to be in terms of damage. I know just based on where he was running, I'm assuming he's going to take that zip line. He takes that zip line, so he's going to be up here, and that's great because he's in a, a difficult position to kind of get to him. My teammate is going to down him right there. I was not expecting that, but luckily there's two of them up there on that high ground. They got a great defensive position, so it's going to make for some good damage farming. We're going to hopefully trade some shots and see if I can get some see if I can get some damage off that. I'm going to let them res. I'm not going to push that. I want them to res. I want them to full heal so I can shoot at them again. My teammate right here just absolutely going in on it. I I don't know why I I asked him to let me get the 4K. I guess he didn't really get the memo. But. My other teammate, he's over to the left. He's going to respect it a little more. But I just... You know, at this point, I'm fighting my teammate more than I am fighting the actual enemies. So I need to really just... I need to really get a good beam off on both of them to get all the extra damage I need before my teammate reaches them. Right here, I get, I get a little... I get a little mad because he's Happy like full blown pushing. Says, My other teammate stop. is actually following them without shooting them, and I'm gonna realize that at this point. I'm gonna go over there on him, and I wanna see if I can find these guys. Not really gonna find them. There's no obvious trace of them. I have no idea where they'd be. So I'm thinking, you know, where's the most likely place they'd be? They have a caustic. They'd probably be in this building right here. So I'm going to see if I can do some damage on him before I push him fully. This is great because Caustic is going to be able to defend that building, which is going to allow them to survive just long enough for me to get enough damage. Right here, I'm going to be looking for an opening just to get a good beam on one of them and then back up. My teammate is already pushing in, just not really respecting my attempt for the 4K. I want to break down this wall. I'm just going to tank that gas trap too. I want him to come for me. I want him to expose himself. I'm going to drop down, see if I can spot them out. Scan them, see if I can see them. Right here, is, I'm in a great position to just get a good beam on him. I want to keep challenging this to as much damage as, as possible. Right there, my teammates are going to definitely push that knock, so I want to run in and do as much as I can. Right here, I'm going to try to thirst. And I'm going to kill that guy because I hear him running towards me. And luckily, I'm going to get it, despite my teammates kind of fighting me on that. I really just... I really had to push in and just get as much damage as I could right there. But I I did get it in the end, Always so I'm really happy says. about that. <laughs> He's going to ask for another one. I'm going to get a little a little mad at my teammate here. I'm going to tell him he was so close to costing says. it. So close to costing it. Luckily we didn't we didn't cost it. We just barely pulled out the 4K, so Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and hopefully you guys took something away from it i hope you have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your day see you later